It sure does feel good to be back home. Yeah, England was fun, but I'm happy to be home, just like you, Johnny. Oh, hey, Dad, I'm hungry. Can you make me a snack? Yeah, me too, Dad. <sighs> Maybe you should ask your mom to make you a snack. She seems to be the food critic. Marcel, can you bring the bags in? Sure thing, Dad. I'm kind of hungry, too. Lucy, you can handle that, right? I'm going to go lay down. Whoa, what was that all about, Mom? I don't know. I'm going to go talk to your father. But first, got to put Grace down for a nap. Mama, ooh, I know sleepy. Come on, Grace, it's nap time. Was it just me, or did Dad seem upset with Mom? Nope, Dad was upset with Mom. He didn't even want to make us any food. That's not like Dad. <gasps> Are they fighting? Oh, oh, ah, ah. Hey, little monkey fans. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss any of our videos. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. It really helps us out. Thanks for watching, and now for some shoutouts to a few of our amazing fans. Taylor Benson, Susie Lucio, Evelyn Robles, Emir and Sarah, My World Forever Life, Horsey Girl 101, Eva Morales, Pony Little, Soaring Sea, Majestic Lusion, and Emily King. Ricardo Family, Rick and Lucy's Big Fight. I don't ever think I've seen Dad that angry before. No, I haven't. What about you, Marcel? Yeah, once or twice. Don't worry, they'll work it out. I gotta go get the bags. And then I can see Shay. Should we go see if Mom and Dad are okay, Johnny? I don't want them to fight. Besides, what are they fighting about anyways? I don't know. Everything seemed okay in the airport. Dad was kind of quiet on the flight over, though. Yeah, I just thought he was tired. Me too. Let's go see what they're doing. Yeah! Is everything okay, Rick? Yep. Are you sure? It doesn't seem like everything's okay. Just tired. Are you sure? Because I've seen you tired before, and normally you're a lot happier even though you're tired. Nope. Okay, now I know something's wrong. What is it? Nothing. Listen, I'm not going away until you talk to me. Then you can stand there. Mom, is everything okay? Yeah, honey. Your father and I just need to talk about something. Okay. Uh, Dad, can you make us a snack? Nope. Your mom can, though. <sighs> really? Give us a few minutes, kids, and they'll make you a snack, okay? Okay. Thanks, Mom. I hope you feel better, Dad. Yeah, I hope you feel better, Dad. Come on, Jasmine, let's go. Okay, the kids are gone. What is going on? You're definitely upset about something. Tell me what it is. You know what it is. No, I don't, actually. I need you to tell me, please. Well, if you don't know, then I'm not going to tell you. Well, that's not helpful. Aw, <sighs> oh, come on, you could have got that. Soccer isn't as exciting at home. It was way more entertaining in England. Johnny, is Mom down yet? I'm hungry. No, I guess they're still talking. I'm worried, Johnny. Dad doesn't seem like himself. What do you think? Ah, uh, they'll be fine. I think Dad was just tired. He seemed tired. I guess you're right. How am I supposed to talk to you if you won't talk to me? Listen, you know what you said. So I'm not going to go saying it again. It's too hurtful. What did I say? You know what you said. I don't. I really don't. <gasps> Do you hear that, Johnny? Mom and Dad are fighting. Do you think they're going to get a divorce? What? No way. Mom and Dad won't do that. Well, I don't know. They don't seem very happy. What are they fighting about anyways? I don't know, but we're going to find out. Come on, Jasmine. Let's go. But Mom and Dad will see us and tell us to go away. Not if we sneak onto the balcony. Ooh, good idea. Okay, yeah, let's go. Just a little bit closer. Jasmine, don't let them see you. They won't, don't worry. Let's listen. Again, I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, come on, Lucy. You were there, I was there. We both heard you say it. You must really think that way. <sighs> what are you talking about? At the airport, we were getting food. Yeah, what about it? Jasmine, move over. Shh, Johnny, shh. What? <sighs> Hold that thought, Rick. We've got a couple spies. Johnny, Jasmine, what do you think you guys are doing? Your mother and I are having a private conversation. Well, it didn't sound very private to us. We can hear you all the way downstairs. Your father and I are really sorry, guys. We're just trying to have a conversation. We'll try to keep it down, okay? No, I think we're done, Lucy. Really? We haven't gotten to the bottom of what's going on. Nope, we're done. You guys hungry? I'll make you a snack. Yeah. Yep. Come on, guys. Let's go to the kitchen. But... Rick, we're not done talking. No, I'm done talking. <sighs> All right, 
Let's go get a snack, guys. It's almost ready, guys. It smells so good, Dad. I missed your cooking. Yeah, me too. At least someone did. Oh, that smells fantastic, honey. It's almost done, Mom. Yep. Oh, there's only three plates. Did you want me to grab the last one? No, I only made enough for me and the kids. But I thought you are making a snack for all of us. For people that appreciate my cooking. Are you serious? Like a heart attack. Yep. Really? Rick, you're being so childish. You're so upset with me for something that I don't even know what I did that you're not going to cook for me anymore? Yep. Oh, fine. You know what? I'll go get my own food. Jasmine, Johnny, I'll be back in a little bit. Love you guys. Bye. Johnny, I told you we were going to get a divorce. Maybe you're right, Jasmine. <laughs> no, Johnny, Jasmine, come back, guys. Now no one's going to eat my food. I better go check on them. Jasmine, I'm worried. I've never seen Mom and Dad fight like that. I know. Me either. What are we going to do, Johnny? I don't know. If Mom and Dad broke up, do you think that we'd have to pick with who we'd want to live with? What? Pick with who we want to live with? But I want to live with both of them. I don't want our family to break up, Johnny. Yeah, same here. But what are we going to do? We can't make them stay together. Sure we can. We'll go on strike. We won't go to school. We won't eat. I don't think we can make that last very long, Jasmine. No, probably not. As long as we're together, okay? You and I can't break up. <gasps> Johnny, what if they make us break up? Like you and me. What if they don't let us stay together? What? Why would Mom and Dad do that? I don't know. What if they each take one of us? What are we going to do? Oh my gosh, Jasmine. I never thought of that. That would be horrible. This is the worst day. And I was so happy to be home. I know, me too. Johnny, I'm scared. Yeah, I'm scared too, Jasmine. Hey guys, I came to talk to you. Dad, how could you? How could you split us up? What? Split you guys up? What are you talking about? You and Mom breaking up and splitting up me and Jasmine. That's not right, Dad. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on, guys. No one's splitting up. Come down so I can talk to you. Okay. okay. Now, what's all this talk about me and your mom splitting up? Who said that? Well, no one. But we've never seen you guys fight like that before. Yeah, are you guys going to get a divorce? Whoa. No, not even close. I'm just a little bit upset with your mom right now, that's all. Well, why? What did she do? It can't be that bad. You guys never really fight. We have disagreements all the time, but we always work them out. Wow, we've never seen you fight like this before. Yeah, why are you so upset with mom? What did she do? It must be something really bad. Well, she said something that hurt my feelings. And then what? And then uh, nothing. That was it. What? You mean all this fighting is because of something Mom said? Like, with words? Well, yeah, it hurt my feelings. But Dad, you and Mom always say that words can only hurt our feelings if we let them. I mean, what would you say to me if I came home as mad as you were? Oh, you have a point. You have a very good point, actually. Oh, I messed up, didn't I? Yeah, you did, Dad. I should have said something right away. But then I was just thinking about it and thinking about it and thinking about it on the plane ride home. And by the time we got home, I was just so angry. Well, you should have talked to her straight away. That's what you always say to me and Johnny when we fight. And at the end of the day, do you think that Mom doesn't love you? Well, of course not. I know Mom loves me. I love Mom. Right. So do you think that she would ever say something to you to hurt you on purpose? No. No, she wouldn't. Well, then? I guess I need to talk to your Mom. When did you guys get to be so smart? Always. But we do listen to you and Mom when you tell us stuff. Yeah, you just need to follow your own advice. You guys are getting so big, and you're absolutely right. Thanks for helping me to see how silly I've been. Anytime, Dad. Anytime. <laughs> uh, I think your mom's home. I gotta go talk to her. Thanks, guys. Anytime, Dad. Go talk to Mom. Tell her how you feel. I will. Thanks. Well, that's better. I don't know about you, Johnny, but I'm feeling a million times better. Yeah, me too. Except for one thing. What's that? I'm still hungry. Let's go down to the kitchen and take what Dad made. Oh, yum, okay. <laughs> hey, honey. Can I talk to you? Oh, so we're talking again now? Listen, I'm sorry, honey. You were right. I was totally being childish. Yes, yes, you were. But I accept your apology. What did I say or do that made you so upset? I still have no idea. Now that I've thought things through more clearly, thanks to Johnny and Jasmine, I realized that what I was angry at was nothing. 
but you were so upset with me. What was it? Something at the airport before we took off. I know that much. You know when we went to that little cafe to get some food before our flight? Yeah. I thought everything was fine there. Well, it was, but your lunch came with toast. Yeah, it was really good toast. But honey, you said it was the best toast you've ever had. And that just really hurt my feelings. Oh, Rick, that's not what I meant. I didn't mean it was better than yours. I was just so hungry. At that moment, it tasted like the best thing in the world. And that's what you're upset about? That I said I like somebody else's toast? <laughs> Well, not that you liked it. You said it was the best toast you ever had. And it really hurt my feelings. Oh, honey, you know that I didn't mean to hurt you. I know, honey. You know, instead of saying something right then and there, which I should have totally done, I let it get to me. And then I just thought about it over and over and over again until I worked myself up and I was so angry. So I'm sorry. You didn't deserve that. Well, thank you. And I'm sorry too. I did not mean that that was the best toast in the world. I still really like your toast way more. I just was so hungry. Yeah, I was too. It was really good toast. Yes, it was really good toast. But not as good as your toast. So you forgive me? Only if you forgive me. Of course I forgive you, but only on one condition. Name it. Anything for you, honey. <laughs> Can you make me some toast? <gasps> I thought you'd never ask. To the kitchen! The end. Thanks for watching. To join all the fun up in our treetop, please subscribe to Little Monkey Media's channel. Don't forget, if you like our video, please share it and click like. We go bananas for monkey!